Thank you, Dr. Mupan. I want to start by complimenting Consul General Anurag Bhushan and uh, uh, Sudesh and the team um, for taking this initiative. I believe it's extremely timely because we really are poised at the cusp of a major transformation in relations between India and UAE. We are witnessing that across multiple sectors. Uh, but most crucial is in the uh, economic dimension. Now, some of us can take uh, comfort in the fact that India UAE trade is $50 billion. India is UAE's largest trading partner, or two-way investment flows are poised to uh, increase very significantly. But I firmly believe that there is no room for complacence. And to stand still is to slide backwards, because there are others uh, who will take your space if you don't move forward. What we really need is a body that not only brings the cream, the elite of the Indian business community in UAE, which is exceptional in its diversity, in its uh, vibrance, in its dynamism, but equally important that it brings together members of the Emirati business community, because that's where the uh, fusion of ideas, of uh, initiatives is going to take place. So I'm especially happy uh, that we have both His Excellency Mr. Jarwan uh, and His Excellency Mr. Abdullah Saleh uh, bringing their perspectives uh, to this. And to me, this is the really significant value addition of this new forum, that it will create a platform for serious business leaders from the two sides to come together to not only for the Indian business community to share its knowledge and understanding of doing business in India with uh, the uh, Emirati business community, but actually move hand in hand uh, together. I've seen some data to the effect that Indian investment into UAE maybe amounts to $55 billion or thereabouts. Um, I don't know what the veracity or the, uh, the antecedents of those figures are, but I can see wherever I go, uh, whether it is in uh, Jabal Ali Free Zone or whether it is in Burj Khalifa, that there is a very significant Indian presence, a very significant Indian investment that you can see. Now, you're also aware that the uh, leaders of our countries, um, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed and uh, Prime Minister Modi have agreed that UAE is going to invest up to $75 billion into India's infrastructure. I'm sure that not all of that is going to come from government sources. Um, we've already had some extremely useful conversations with the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, with Mubadla, with ADEC, uh, and with others. But there is a huge space available for private sector business initiatives in this area. And again, I hope that this forum will become a place where substantive, concrete project opportunities can be discussed. Uh, a reference was made to the Minister of Railways' visit, and he came with many specific ideas. But I believe that next time somebody like that comes, or if we have a team, can we assemble through the Business Leaders Forum 50, not more, 50 business leaders from the Emirates, regardless of color, ethnicity, language, whatever, but 50 business leaders from Emirates to whom we can make that presentation and say, here are some really win-win opportunities for you to look at, whether you are from the real estate sector or the infrastructure sector or the financial sector, and take advantage of those opportunities. Because yes, it is true that with an economy of almost $2.5 trillion now, 
poised to grow at at least 7% a year. Most economists think that it can grow actually much faster than that. Um, the GST kicks in, hopefully, with effect from July. Modeling done by several independent economists suggests that just the GST will add somewhere between 0 0.9 to 1.6 percentage points to GDP growth. So you're looking at an economy growing at 7, 8% a year. On two and a half trillion dollars, that's a huge addition that will be coming to the global economic growth from India. I believe UAE is exceptionally well poised to take advantage of these opportunities in India. You're looking at a, potentially a $200 billion opportunity every year in terms of new business growth coming from India. And here, in one of the most open economies, in one of the most efficient uh, ports, in one of the most efficient logistics bases, and the hub of entrepreneurship that it is, I can't think of many other places that can move quickly. Yes, we all carry some baggage, but I firmly believe that if you keep looking backwards, you will not be able to move forwards. The idea is to move forward, and that's where I think both countries are very strongly headed. So my compliments, my congratulations to this wonderful initiative, and I can only assure you that this is one platform where the embassy, the consulate, the business leadership from India, the business leadership from United Arab Emirates would happily march in step together so that we can realize some of the visions that have been articulated. Thank you.